urbanization is norm of the day we cannot change we cannot reverse it as of now so going green is also we don't have any option it is a duty of us as a developer as well as our duty to the next generation sandeep sonigra was always environmentally conscious about his work but when he first came to know about griha his ideas found a clear direction a seminar which we attended we came to know about the griha and the rating system and then we decided to follow uh, the griha rating system for our new project that is the royal orange county which we started in 2013 in terms of materials uh, we have a very uh, different ideology since our uh, earlier projects to calculate the carbon footprint of the project and after doing calculation of carbon footprint we found that cement is one of the most crucial element so we try to replace cement wherever possible and we found lime is the best alternative to cement we have tried to be almost 100% on solar energy so everything in the apartment light fan tv computer refrigerator this works on solar energy generated at site An apartment complex of 207 flats generating 120 kilowatt peak of solar power treating 250 kiloliters of sewage through a low maintenance natural stp and a rainwater harvesting capacity of 12 lakh liters no wonder the residents of royal orange county feel the difference royal orange county mein hum 2-3 saal se reh rahe yahan pe एक दी बेस्ट एक्सपीरियंस रहा मेरा यहाँ पे जैसे पहले जहाँ पे रहते थे हम ऐसा कुछ देखने को नहीं मिला कभी ग्रीन डेवलपमेंट दिस इज नॉट ओनली दी मार्केटिंग फीचर्स एक्चुअली इट्स वी आर फीलिंग इट्स बेनिफिट इन टर्म्स ऑफ डे लाइट नेचुरल लाइट्स एंड वेंटिलेशन एंड सेविंग इन दी लाइट बिल्स वी कैन नॉट इमेजिन वन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड बर्क्स एज अ पर मंथ बिलिंग Griha's sharp focus on adapting itself to varied local conditions makes it attractive for architects and developers. See India is a big country and we have got a, as environment is directly related to the geographical and topographical conditions. We uh, you can't apply same norms of Delhi to Chennai and Maharashtra to Kolkata and all those things. So a criteria as single as a uh, water or say rainfall or say uh, rainwater harvesting there can be hundreds of options on this single subject region wise city wise here is where gruha has made a city wise region wise uh, criteria and then it is easier for the individual developer to adopt it but for green buildings to be built on scale their value needs to be understood at a city level the municipal corporation of pimpi chinchwad a newly developing city on the outskirts of pune is among the first civic bodies in india to adopt griha griha helps us to make uh, the city uh, much more carbon neutral and hence as a city uh, corporation we have decided to offer some of the incentives through property tax rebate or through uh, reduction in development charges for the developers who are coming for certification of green buildings griha is one of the best tools basically it's simpler it is indigenous and it is easy to implement so i think it is adoptable by many other corporations also in maharashtra it is certain that we have to move towards sustainability if you have to move towards sustainability greener uh, technologies greener materials greener uh, design technologies will have to be used for a newer construction so eventually each and every city will have to look at uh, some or the other protocol and griha being indigenous i think it is much better to be used In 2018 the public works department of Maharashtra mandated all upcoming government buildings and retrofitting of existing buildings to comply with green building concepts and to be rated by the Griha Council Griha is an attitude 
and it has to be just adopted and not uh, you know followed or just because somebody is saying or some incentive is there so it's an attitude that has to be pursued by every indian